Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I will share an analysis with you related to Euro USD ahead of the non-farm payroll data. Today's market focuses solely on the non-farm payroll data. The US is expected to report 160k jobs versus the previous 140k. And based on this data, the market will also speculate about the potential rate cut during the FOMC meeting scheduled for Wednesday, September 18th. We are going to look at a, a technical and a fundamental perspective today on Euro USD. And I would like to begin on a lower time frame, which is also the time frame that I'm going to pay close attention to today. The price broke out during these days above the wedge pattern when the is signaling for further growth. However, we must be very careful as long as we are ahead of the non farm payroll data and we can face two aggressive scenarios in both movements. For the moment, Euro USD is approaching the top of the wedge pattern and it can wait in this zone before the next move. Seen in this perspective, we have two possible scenarios based on the non-farm payroll data. If the non-farm payroll data meets or exceeds expectations above 160k, then we may see USD likely to strengthen. The market may then anticipate the Fed to cut rates by only 25 basis points in September meeting. In this scenario, we could see USD moving down aggressively from this zone here with the first support that will be found near to 1.1030 and if the price will manage to break through this area uh, then the next support will be found at 1.0960 but this can happen aggressively from this scenario on the other hand if the non-farm payroll data will be below expectations, below 160k, we can expect weaker USD. The market may then anticipate the Fed to cut rates by 50 basis points in September meeting. And in this case, we could see a vertical growth in price with immediate resistance that will be found near to 1.12, that is also the top of the wave which is also a very strong resistance area and the move above this area to push the price up to 1.1270 so this is for the bullish scenario that we may face on euro usd i'm looking at for the top of the structure because if we are going to get back on the daily chart we can clearly see that the top was created at the mid of July 2023 and earlier it was tested on February 2022, November 2021, all of this area here on the depths. So that is why we have to expect any pause even if it moves up. The problem that we have to deal with both scenarios is that we don't have any confirmation before the news and that is why both these scenarios can happen and both can be valid considering that the market will only speculate considering the FOMC rate cut and the market will not uh, make a clear direction only related to the data so everything is about the possible rate cut during FOMC September uh, meeting so let's see what is going to happen just be careful because it is going to be a volatile moment it is not expecting for the price to give signs that it will move down or it will move up so far is only bullish but it is not supposed that it should continue only up the problem is that we can be in a one two three wave movement in this situation but we can also be in a corrective movement and the price is going to make the next impulsive move so both scenarios are possible so let's be careful during uh, today's news i hope you guys enjoyed the analysis thanks for watching please don't forget to hit the like button and follow thank you bye bye